This um, is called Double Robotics. Um, the hospital has um, purchased this robot technology. It's been in the works for several years. This is the first time we've actually been able to uh, launch it into a school um, with the concept being that a child in the hospital not only will have a hospital teacher assigned to them to help them stay on track in school, but they can actually participate in school, in their classes, um, in order to uh, minimize the disruption in their education. The student in the hospital has a laptop and they are connected digitally with the robot that's located at their school and yes, they are actually driving it. They can do a 360 degree turn, um, they can drive up and down the hallway, they can even lift the camera up and down on the neck um, to get higher or lower as they need to be able to see in their classroom. Also able to speak back and forth so they can speak with the class and interact. Um, this technology not only allows the student to participate, but it allows the students in the classrooms to be um, familiar with what's going on with their classmates and to keep in touch and, um, you know, keep some normalcy going in, in the child in the hospital's life. How do you like going here. to school this way? Oh, this is awesome. This is, this is great. What's great about it? What's great about it? Everything is great about it. I get to go to school, look on a robot, and you see all these other people looking at me like, what? What is that? This is awesome. This is great. And I get to see my teachers and my friends. I can see everybody. This is awesome. Alton is a sixth grade student in Causey. Um, he um, has been in the hospital for approximately 14 days, so he has been out of school for two weeks. Uh, wonderful kid, wonderful personality. Um, when I met him, I knew he was the perfect one to launch this um, great interaction with adults and children. Um, and so he was just thrilled and his mother was absolutely on board. And um, I think he's gonna be very, very excited when we get back to the hospital.